Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. In this tutorial, we're going to look at views. And in BricsCAD, views are a way to quickly uh, see smaller areas of drawings, almost like uh, detail views, section views, that sort of thing. And we're going to look at two commands, the view command that opens Explorer and the dash view command that operates at the command line. Right, let's look at the uh, how the view command works for 2D drawings. I'm going to enter in the view command at the command bar and this opens up the drawing explorer to the views section. And you can see right now it's blank, so we're going to create a new one by clicking this new button right here. And you can see there on the command line, it gives you a bunch of options. There's really only two we're interested in. The first one is save, which uh, saves the entire view that you see right now, the way it is, zoom to extents, etc. Then we get to give it a new name and I'll call it um, everything. Okay, and now let's create another one. The other type of uh, name view you can make is with the window. Uh, click the new button and this time on the command prompt type a W and then it asks for a corner of the window. So I'm going to pick, oh, uh, let's try this here, this part of the drawing. Okay, and I'm going to call that uh, mm, ladder. So we've got these two view years. Now to make the view current, I click here and you can see how uh, BricsCAD automatically jumps to that view. And when I go back and make the everything view current, then we see everything. Views are also used by the print command and I'm going to show you that now. So here's the print dialog box and we'll choose a uh, printer so we can get a print preview. And I'm going to choose in the plot area, view. And it says you can either plot the current view or one of the named views. So to show you how it works, I'm going to choose the latter view. And let's see what else do we have here. I'll center it on the page and preview it. And let's make this uh, small enough for you folks in there in the viewing audience to see it. There we go. Let's change this to say 50%. So yeah, so now you can see that what we've plotted will be just the name view and that's that's really, really handy. When it comes to uh, using the view command with 3D models, you have a few more options and that's what I'm going to show you now. So let's enter the view command. And I've already created a few view here just to hurry things along. So we've got the top view and then I'll click here next to isometric and you can see that the views are not just 2D but also can have 3D viewpoints and as well as zoomed in such as this uh, view named wheel. Now over here in this panel you can specify the uh, number of things such as the visual style. So for example when we go to the wheel mode we could have say x-ray, no background. I'm just going to leave the background off. Okay. So now when we go to the wheel mode you see this x-ray mode of visual style. In isometric, let's go for a uh, conceptual as well as a uh, gradient background. Uh, I've got those applied. So now when we go to isometric view, we get the uh, conceptual visual style with that gradient background as well as uh, a plain old wireframe for the top view. The other options in this panel uh, let you fine tune the uh, viewpoints and uh, for example, uh, let's go to isometric view and we can turn on perspective mode and uh, that uh, changes the look of it. And here's the width and height of the viewport which you can change the numbers. Roll angle lets you rotate the view which uh, I don't find particularly useful but it's, it's available. As well as front and back clipping which cut off the front and back of the picture to give you the sort of like an inner slice. But uh, since all you can we can do here is enter in numbers, for example 0.1 and uh, front on, turn on the, uh, okay, so now it's been sliced off, but it's a bit hard to control. There's no interactive control, so I tend not to use this. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook.
Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.